Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Deep D Collective was a groundbreaking conscious rap group with mostly LGBTQ members that represented LGBTQ artists in hip hop in the early 2000s, becoming one of the first notable gay rap acts in music history. Based in Oakland, California, the band was a collective of 11 artists who didn't feel embraced or supported in the so-called conscious spoken word communities in their respective cities and college campuses. Founding members Juba Kalamka, the Tim West, and Philip Atiba Goff began to collaborate after being iced out of many other performance spaces because of their gay identities and decided it was high time to create content for themselves and their community. The band's name and song's lyrical content embraced their sexual and political identities with no shame, creating a unique space for gay lyricists to vent about the stressors of being black, gay, bisexual, and well-educated artists. Their style is incredibly intellectual and political, even within their exploration of sexual and psychological freedom. The performances of their lyrics are sometimes blunt and humorous, while other times being mind-bendingly quick-paced and fast. The artists make no fake gangster personas in their music, but proudly intertwine their educational background with their contemporary lyrics to let the listener know these brothers know what they're talking about. Bougie Boho Post Pomo Afro Homo would be their first recorded project, which is an auditory staple of its time, from the beat choices to their incredible flows and conscious lyrics. While creating their album, the bandmates also decided to create a record label, Sugar Truck Recordings, to distribute their own work which has to be one of the first, if not the first, black and gay-owned hip-hop label in the world. If you want rap lyrics that keep you on your toes and make you think, take a listen to DDC's first album. The band would be standout performers at Peace Out World Homo Hop Festival, an annual pride and performance event in Oakland, California, that featured LGBTQ rap performers on its stage for several years. From 2000 to 2012, DDC released 12 collective albums and their greatest hits album with the key, Sissies, the very best of Deep D Collective, is up online, ready for the listening. Rap music has been such an important part of Black America's story and has become an incredible vehicle for artists to express themselves as well as find community and success along the way. DDC undoubtedly was a massive part of opening up the doors for more LGBTQ rappers to start pushing their own pens as well as pushing their way into spaces we weren't always allowed to exist. Now we are seeing more and more notable gay LGBTQ artists break through in hip hop and you better believe DDC opened up many minds to our community's lyrical talents. I'll definitely be reviewing more of DDC's thought-provoking music in the future.